Hello, Springboro, and welcome to the annual Christmas in Historic Springboro Parade. Doesn't Main Street look beautiful? I'm Carrie Robbins with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Professional Realty, and I'd like to welcome back my co-host for this year's parade. By day, he is a senior portfolio manager for Buckingham Advisors, and by night, he's the president of Springboro Community Theater. Let's welcome back Jim Brown. Well, thank you so much, Carrie. I'm thrilled to be here. It's an amazing day, and we're thrilled to be back with all of you this year. It's a beautiful day. We are bursting with excitement for the parade to start, but before we get started, let's take a moment to thank our generous parade sponsor. Without their support, none of this would be possible. So thank you to Glasshouse Realty Group, our parade sponsor. Thank you very much to our parade sponsor. Our theme this year is Winter Wonderland, and we have some fantastic floats which will be making their way our direction shortly. Let's take a moment to thank our float judges who were working hard this morning. Scott Bunch, Lena Reiki Salmon, Mike Thompson, Becky Iverson, and Aaron Morgan. So Jim, what are you most excited to see today? Oh, there are so many things. I always love to see the marching band and, and all the floats, and I love to see the animals, especially the dogs as they come through. That's of a lot course. of fun. And I hear we're gonna have goats this year. Ooh, goats, all right. And Carrie, don't we have a fun fact about the uh, law enforcement presence in the parade? We do, we do. In fact, I hear that we've actually got three police chiefs and a sheriff this year in our parade. That is amazing. Well, and speaking of that, it looks like we have the first of our parade participants coming through. And it looks like we've got parade control coming through, clearing our streets officially for us. Carrie, as we wait for our our parade to officially roll by our booth here. Yeah. What what are you most looking forward to this holiday season? Oh goodness, I mean, I really just spending time with family and friends, and uh, of course, really just spending time here at Christmas in Springboro and the parade. You know, I love the smells that we're getting right now. I think it was strategy this year for them to put us directly across from a taco truck. <laughs> I think you're right. I see lots of familiar faces. I always love that. I see Glenn and Donnie hanging out over there. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Good to see you. Well, let's get started. All right. It looks like we've got our Springboro Police Department, driven by Springboro Chief of Police, Dan Bentley. And we've got Tracy. Hi, Tracy. And right behind them, we have the colors today presented by the Springboro High School Air Force Junior ROTC. Always great to see our high school students representing us so well. Absolutely. Always love Lisa, to see that. I see her. And of course, we've got that followed up by our Warren County Sheriff, Larry Sims. And right behind that is the Ohio State Highway Patrol Trooper Jacob Kunka from the Lebanon Post of the Ohio State Highway Patrol. And now we have the Clear Creek Fire District. They provide fire, emergency medical, and rescue services to the citizens and guests of Clear Creek Township and the city of Springboro. And I see Ed Wade there riding with Clear Creek Chief John Terrell, and they wish us a very happy and safe holiday. Hey, I see trustee Jason Gabbard there in our Clear Creek Fire Vehicle. And we've got all of our township trustees out today. Hey there, Trustee Muterspall. It's great to see everyone. Coming up next is our Grand Marshal. Chief Jeff Croydoff, a law enforcement veteran with a career spanning from 1972 to his retirement in April 2023, served in various leadership roles, including chief of police for the Springboro, Ohio Police Department. 
Throughout his career, Chief Freudoff played key roles in crisis management, responding to events like Hurricanes Katrina, Ike and Irene. He has received several notable awards, including Police Officer of the Year and Ohio Police Executive of the Year. Chief Kroydoff and his wife, Jamie, who retired from a teaching career, continue to call Springboro home, emphasizing their deep community, their deep connection to the community. And here's all of our city officials. There you go. We have Mayor Agenbron. We have uh, Steve Harding, Council Member Harding. It looks like Becky Iverson. Yes. All right. And next up, we have the Good Guy Group with Glasshouse Realty. The Good Guy Group is a real estate team comprised of first responders and their families. They specialize in putting good guys in homes and bad guys in jail. If you need help buying or selling, call the Good Guys. There's a pretty pup. Love the balloons on that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, that was a great way to start that, start the parade, Carrie. Absolutely. I mean, it's wonderful to see so many prominent people in our community want to participate in this Christmas and Spring Row Parade. Absolutely. It's great having them be a part of this. It's definitely a community affair and and their leadership and commitment to the community is, is just amazing. Now, Jim, I hear that the Spring Row Band Boosters are having a pancake breakfast tomorrow. They are. Uh, that is going to be at Springboro Intermediate from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can come in and enjoy breakfast. Uh, they have a market. They have crafts, pictures with Santa, and tickets are available online. So it is the first annual Santa Pancake Breakfast and Market. Okay, well, that sounds like a heck of a lot of fun. I think so, so. Before the festival, you can go have breakfast with Santa, and then you can come enjoy the festival. That sounds great. You know, next up, we have the Springboro Special Olympics team sponsored by the Washington Township and Cornerstone Crossing Chick-fil-A. The Springboro Special Olympics team was established in 1995 with just two athletes. Today, the team has more than 55 athletes who compete in local and statewide events in swimming, basketball, bowling, track and field, and bocce. Athletes range in age from eight years old to 42 years old. The team looks forward to a great 2023-2024 sports season, and they can't wait to represent Springboro at the 2024 State Winter Special Olympic Games at BGSU in February and the Summer Games at The Ohio State University in June of 2020. All right, next up we have the Springboro Area Historical Society is a 100% volunteer-led organization. Hi, Chris Britton that operates both the museum at 110 South Main Street and the Knoll House. The society also offers adult underground railroad tours, Knoll House tours, the annual haunted hot dog roast, monthly historical presentations and historical field trips, just to name a few. Here comes the Rotary Club. Now, I wanna give a little fun fact about Doug Beakey here. Did you guys know that Doug appeared in a couple episodes of Magnum P.I.? Yeah, just a little fun fact about Doug Beakey. There you go. Rotary Club of Springboro's service to our community is a large focus for the Rotary Club of Springboro. From operating a concession stand at North Park to helping to rebuild homes for local citizens, we are a hands-on club. We look forward to the next opportunity to roll up our sleeves and get to work. All right, and next up, Iron Gate Inc. Realtors. With over 300 agents and six local offices, Iron Gate is one of Dayton's largest locally owned real estate companies. They offer comprehensive and specialized real estate services. All right, next up is Marley's Paul Bakery. They sell handmade bandanas with Velcro for your rambunctious pups and matching scrunchies for the owner. They also make homemade all-natural treats such as donuts, cupcakes, pies, cinnamon rolls, and even birthday cakes for your fur babies. All products are cat-friendly as well. Next up, we have Grace Point Fellowship. 
This is their walking wonderland float. Hear the sleigh bells ring and see the snow glisten as all the happy children are walking in this winter wonderland. What a beautiful sight. That was a really neat sleigh that they built, wasn't it? They are slaying it. They today. are slaying it today. Uh, you know, this is so awesome just being up here. I feel like we're like it's a couple of ornaments on the tree. You know, we're it's just, just baby. we're just hanging. It's just the cutest baby. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Next up, we have JDD Dance. They have competition and recreation dance, acro and baton available. They are a rec and competition dance studio. Their studio has many regional and national awards. They're a family style studio, and they firmly believe it's so much more than dance. Call them and start your dance journey now. It's always so great to see all of the kids enjoying the parade and seeing so many participate. Up next is one of my favorites every year, and that's the Springboro Veterinary Hospital Pet Parade. Proudly serving the Springboro community for over 30 years, Springboro Veterinary Hospital marches with their pet parade. These pups are festive from tail to ear and ready to help spread some holiday cheer. All right, and next up we have the Springboro High School Marching Band and Guard. They just completed a fantastic 2023 <laughs> competition season, winning overall grand champion at two competitions and achieving a superior rating at OMEA State Finals. You can help support the band by joining them Sunday morning from 10 to 1 for Breakfast with Santa at Springboro Intermediate. There'll be food, music, kids' activities, and a market as well. For tickets, visit SpringboroBand.org. Great to hear the Marching Panthers, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Sounding great and looking great. As always, as always. Absolutely. Lots of proud parents on the parade route right now. Yes, there are, yes, there and are. I know you were one of those proud parents I, last year. I was, I have a recent spring. I know, she's sitting on the parade stage with us right now. Miss Allie Brown has joined us. Home from UK. You know, next up, we have Colwell Banker Heritage, and they are the winners. They are the second place float winners, so congratulations. The Coldwell Banker Heritage Springboro office has over 50 agents serving Springboro and the surrounding areas. They have been a driving force in the local real estate market for over 50 years. I want to wish everyone a joyous and healthy holiday season. Congratulations again, the second place float. Now, I heard about this float. Some of my friends at that office told me it was really cool. I couldn't wait to see it. Oh, it's gorgeous, it guys. I love the snowman. You know, Carrie, do you know what we call an old snowman? Oh, I'm afraid to ask. Water. <laughs> That's an old snowman in the summer, baby. I think so. Ah, oh, here's Girl Scout Daisy Troop 3495. Hello, ladies. Scout Troop 3181 of Stony Brook and Cadet and Senior Girl Scout Troop 32272 of Springboro First United Methodist Church. These girls love camping, badge work, and the power of girls together, and they are the most original winner. You can't get away from the You're welcome. You're welcome. Ooh. I can see why this might be the most original winner. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, got a call. 
Ghostbusters. Although I don't think ectoplasm would look good with my eyes. That was a test that you passed. Good job. I don't know, it's green. It, it is. All right, the Jeannie Moreland dancers from the Jeannie Moreland Dance you, Theater this? in Springboro are ages 3 to 18 and perform in the areas of ballet, tap, jazz, and lyrical, tumbling, and musical theater. The dancers will be performing their annual holiday show entitled Christmas Spectacular 2023 in the entertainment tent following the parade. Our dancers also perform at area shows and festival events throughout the Miami Valley, including Austin Landings, and Miamisburg Christmas Tree Lighting, and Miamisburg's Spring Fest. Our dancers are regional and national competition winners, and former dancers have performed professionally with Radio City Rockettes, NBA Chicago Bulls dance teams, and on Broadway. That is quite the resume. It is. Hello, ladies. And they not only dance, they sing. And they have all the vehicles decorated. They do. Awesome. Oh. All right, next up we have Springboro Lacrosse Club supporting youth lacrosse in Springboro for boys and girls from kindergarten through eighth grade. Guys, don't move. Lacrosse has become quite the big sport, hasn't it? Ah, uh, here comes Dreamgate Frisian Farm. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. And they bring the staff. We're thankful for their staff. Yes. As are all of the folks behind them. Where's the horse guy? There. The horse guy. Right there. Oh, what do we have here, Jerry? It looks like we've got some dancing snowmen. There you go. That is awesome, and they are part of. A A people, family of companies. They're your local family of heating and cooling, electrical and plumbing experts. When your home needs a repair or maintenance, they will send one of their experienced technicians to perform repairs quickly when you need help the most because it's, it's always, always something. something. Call A Able. <laughs> Let's hope those snowmen watch where they step. Sorry. Oh, Bright Beginnings Christian Preschool and First United Methodist Church of Spring Row would like to wish you all a safe and blessed Christmas season. Now we have the festively decorated wagons. I know. I always look forward to that every year. Yes. I notice a lot of them have cup holders so mom and dad can have coffee. <laughs> Watch down there. Always oh, such a large group from Bright Beginnings. Yes. So fun to see all these preschoolers participating.
Clyde, how cool is that? Very, very cool. Love you. New Spring Church just spreading cheer and goodwill throughout the crowd. They're always doing lovely things for our community. Yes. You know, I think they're passing out candy canes. That must be expensive, you know, because all candy canes, they come in mint condition. But um boom Is there a book of Christmas dad jokes, or, or where do you get these? Uh, extensive research. Extensive research. <laughs> you have to call out the bad ones, so you get just the good ones. <laughs> Or call like, did out. you did you buy a book on Amazon or how do you do this? Just online. Oh, okay. Just online. <laughs> you know my favorite one. <coughs> my favorite one is is I saw something about a man who ate all of the decorations from his Christmas tree. He came down with the worst case of tonsillitis. <laughs> Bless his heart. We should probably go back to announcing the parade, shouldn't we? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let you sit here with your your dad jokes. Okay. Uh huh. How about next up is Kinder Care? With the Kinder Care bus. Decorated very festive. And it looks like they're now enrolling. And the bus is also rolling. <laughs> oh, it looks like next up we have Tapestry Retirement Community. On the bus there are residents, grandchildren, and staff led by Renee Harlow, Life Enrichment Director, with Rick Williams driving the bus, and Bryn Kane, Life Enrichment Coordinator, as the snowman at the door. Happy holidays from Tapestry. <laughs> And next up, we have the newest Daisy Girl Scout troop in Springboro, Troop 3560. They have 14 girls in kindergarten and first grade at Clear Creek Elementary. They are looking forward to contributing to the community and making a difference. Merry Christmas. Looks like 937 Nutrition is up next. 937 Nutrition serves protein smoothies, iced coffee, and energizing drinks. They also offer wellness coaching to help others live a healthy lifestyle. They're located at 760 West Central Avenue next to Tire Discounters. And right behind them we have Springboro Pee Wee Cheer. They're comprised of young girls in grades second through sixth, and they all enjoy cheering for the Wee Panther football teams on Saturdays and Sundays. Along with cheering for the Pee Wee football teams, SPC is also comprised of competition cheer squads in grades three through six who travel around the area to compete against other cheer teams in the region. They strive to teach young girls to love the sport of cheerleading every season and look forward to the organization growing in the future. And then, of course, we've got Spring Row Wee Panthers Football. Wee Panthers Football, Inc. is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the promotion of youth tackle football in grades 1st through 6th. Wee Panthers Football is driven towards teaching the fundamentals of football at a competitive level. The Wee Panthers Football Program competes in the Western Ohio Junior Football Conference. Our 450 athletes compete against many of the same organizations they will compete with in junior high and high school in the G-Rock Conference. 
Weed Panther Football Program's mission is putting more kids on the field and striving to teach the values of hard work, teamwork, and sound fundamentals for football players. They also have a flag football program for grades kindergarten through fifth grade. After that is All That Dance Studio. All That Dance is competition and recital dance studio. They're located in Springboro, Ohio. All That Dance has been in business for 19 years and has classes in ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, and contemporary genres. Classes are available for those three years and up. Their competition team holds many national titles and awards with dancers ranging from five years old to 18. All right, looks like coming up next is Cub Scout Pack 813. And next we have Sarajevo Stables. Their mission is to rescue horses that rescue people. They provide a safe and peaceful place that connects horses and people of all ages and backgrounds. Just like all of us, each of the horses have a special story. Many come from abusive and neglectful past, but transform into teaching students the beauty of true connection. Once the horses are rehabilitated, like the ones you see here today, they give back by helping heal without judgment by teaching love, respect, and gratitude at Sarajevo Stables. And that's right here on Pekin Road. It is. Yeah. All right, next up is our Junior Optimist Club. They offer children ages 6 through 19 the opportunity to learn more about volunteerism and teamwork, leadership skills, and serving the needs of others, while identifying need in their local community and planning projects, fundraisers, to address those needs. Welcome to our Junior Optimist. Oh, it's starting to, to get chilly, isn't it? It is, just a little bit. The wind's kicking up. It's, it must be because there's there's ice hounds around. Could be. I, I think it's, I, I think I hear them. They might be howling. I that's think right. that's what it is. That's right, the Dayton Ice Hounds Youth Hockey, come join the pack. The Dayton Ice Hounds Youth Hockey is committed to providing fun, safe, and high quality ice hockey programs for the young people of the Miami Valley. Emphasizing an environment that is open to youth at all levels of interest, promoting ability, assisting all participants in reaching their athletic potential by teaching skills that enhance the performance and enjoyment of ice hockey while also including the importance of hard work, goal setting, commitment, self-discipline, determination, teamwork, and sportsmanship. All ice hockey programs are held at South Metro Sports. Learn more at www.icehoundshockey.com. So you know it's not even chilly for them. No, no. they've got this. And following the Ice Hounds is the Springboro Panthers Hockey Association. They have the Springboro High School hockey team on their float. And this is the Springboro Spirit winner. So congratulations, Springboro Spirit winner. Yeah. Congratulations, hockey team. The whopper of a throw. All right. I'm so proud. Next up, we have Springboro Panther Youth Volleyball. The Panther Youth Volleyball Program provides a positive de developmental instruction in the sport of volleyball for those students who reside in or attend the Springboro Community City School District and are in grades K through 8. There was a rumor they were going to be bringing goats, but I don't. I don't, I don't see, see the goats. 
Oh, the baby goat did not cooperate. Okay, next year, we're next looking year, forward. Next year, we're holding you to it. Okay. I was so looking forward to the goats. I know. Well, you're, you're the goat. You're the greatest. I was going to say, you're, you're, you're the goat, Jim. <laughs> Who you're, do we you're, have? you're my Christmas and spring bro goat. <laughs> Carrie, who do we have next? Uh, we have Heart, <laughs> Homeless Animal Rescue Team. The purpose of Heart is to rescue homeless animals, saving them from euthanization, abandonment, and abuse. Heart places all rescued animals in foster homes versus shelters. All Heart animals receive top-notch veterinarian care, and all currently needed vaccinations, microchips, and spay and neuter. We are 100% volunteer, no paid staff of any kind. And they have. Oh, and they have a Batmobile driven by tiny, adorable little animals. And they have and the Polar Express. Oh, oh my heart. <laughs> Next up, we have King's Cross Community Church. King's Cross Community Church has a sincere desire to teach the Word of God and to engage the community by serving its Springboro neighbors. If you are looking for a church home, please consider King's Cross. You can learn more at www.kingscrosscommunity.com. And next we have Springboro Cheerleading, Springboro High School and Junior High Cheerleading. And we have our Spring Row Panther. And next up, we have the Sinday Academy. They have been around for over 20 years in Spring Row. They've been offering students individualized and student-centered learning based on cutting-edge brain science research. Come see for yourself and schedule a campus tour with us. That's the Sinday Academy. See the Grinch coming towards us. How's it going, Ken? All right. All right. This is one of our favorites. Here come the Irish Wolfhounds, presented by the Coo and Crack Club. Irish Wolfhounds are the tallest breed of dog. In olden days, they used to hunt wolves, deer, and wild boar. Today, they are known as the Gentle Giants because of their calm and sweet dispositions. Irish Wolfhounds are very fond of Santa. They dream about pulling Santa's sleigh, but everyone knows Dogs can't fly. Oh, I didn't know that. Their club name means Hounds and Good Times. That's Coo and Crack, Irish Wolfhounds. Aren't they beautiful? See, I see some familiar faces out here. Hi, Karen Eric. Loving it, wolfhounds. And I love how they're stopping to see all the children along the route. They obviously know they're the celebrities here today. Absolutely. Loving it. Next we have LifeWise Academy. Springboro represented by their director and leadership team.
And next up, we have No Wake Marine. No Wake Marine is a selling and servicing boat dealership that specializes in family towboats such as Malibu, Axis, and Nautique boats. And look at that. We have a boat rolling down Main Street. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. You guys may have the best seat in the parade. Truly. I love it. All right. Okay, that's he wins. And next up, we have our third place winner. This is Chess Christian School. They're located right here in Springboro on the corner of 48 and Lower Springboro Road. Chess is a hybrid private Christian school serving over 400 students as young as two years old all the way up through 12th grade. The Chess Royals Athletics Program includes over 30 athletic teams and earned the conference championship titles for junior high boys basketball, varsity boys basketball, and varsity boys volleyball last year. Chess Christian School is known for its strong community, flexible schedule, and innovative mindset. If you are considering a change to your child's education, we'd love to meet with you. Visit our website to schedule a tour. That's the third place winner, Chess Christian School. Congratulations, Chess Christian School. It's so great to see all of the families and all of the students participating in our parade. Yes. And ah, speaking nice. of students. Yes, we've got Borough Baseball proudly representing Springboro, won their third consecutive Ohio Major Division State Championship in 2023. Their remarkable achievement was their third consecutive state title, winning the fiercely contested nine and under, 10 and under, and 11 and under age brackets. Our community rallied behind these boys, celebrating a journey marked by resilience and a love for the game. Congratulations. Next we have the Knights of Columbus and parishioners of St. Mary of the Assumption Church in Springboro. The Knights of Columbus have over two million members worldwide who in 2022 alone provided over 45 million charitable hours and raised over 185 million in donations for disaster relief, coats for kids, and Special Olympics. And next up, we have Ultimate Leadership Martial Arts, which is located next to Roosters and is about to celebrate 25 years in business here in Spring Row. Give your child the gift of confidence by joining this holiday season. So you don't want to mess with anybody in that group, Jim. No, absolutely. Best behavior. Best behavior again, <laughs> yes. Next up, we have the Mike Little Agency for State Farm. Located in Washington Township, give them a call for all of your insurance and financial service needs. Like a good neighbor, Mike Little is there. Oh, and I see more of our equine friends coming towards us. Yes, they are not horsing around. They, they never are. <laughs> and if we have equine friends, that means that they have staff behind them. Yes, they do. All right, it looks like here are Frazier's contracting with the owners, Bo and Sally Frazier, on their horses, Thunder and Cleo. Beautiful horses. Yes. And luckily very well behaved. Well, Carrie, once the parade is finished, what's your favorite food here? 
Christmas. It's oh, fun. goodness. I mean, that's like asking me to, you know, like pick one of you, like your favorite child, like a child out of your family. <laughs> I can't do that. It's all so good. It smells so good. I know. I it's mean, time. goodness it gracious. Time. Oh, I think we have Gymnastics Training Center of Ohio coming up next. You can flip, tumble, and roll on over. Here comes our favorite gymnastics team. The Gymnastics Training Center of Ohio is the top-rated gymnastics and tumbling program in the area with classes starting at six weeks. They've got all your gymnastics and tumbling needs covered from recreational classes to school tumbling groups, kids' night outs, skills clinics, and more. Check them out at gtcohio.com and start moving today. Tumbling as early as six weeks? Six weeks. I mean, you know. Babies are very flexible. <laughs> That dog has some massive tumbling skills as well. Yes. You should see his back tuck. And next I see coming down towards us, we have Pack 34. Pack 34 is a youth organization for boys and girls, kindergarten through fifth grade. They do a variety of activities, including camping, rocket rallies, and the annual Pinewood Derby. And they're always welcoming more youth to join the fun. That's Pack 34. You know, Jim, one thing I do want to mention that I always love every year at the Historical Society Museum is that they do a Meet the Authors event. And everybody loves books, don't they? They do, they it's do. A great, great gift idea for the readers and the family. Absolutely. And yeah, a Meet the Author session would be amazing. Yeah, so you can go in, you can meet the authors, you can have your book signed. And of course, one of our former educators from Springboro Schools, Janet Irvin is one of the authors. She's always there, and it's always great to catch up with Mrs. Irvin. That is great. Well, next up, we have the Kids Are Kids Learning Academy. We have some walkers. They have their bus. Oh, and it looks like we've got some icicles hanging off the bus. Yeah, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. I mean, it is a winter wonderland. It is. And they are walking in it. I don't know what's going on in that bus, but they need to turn the heat on. All right, next up we have 937 Inc. 937 Inc. is your go-to for all screen printing, embroidery, uniforms, and promotional items. They are located here in downtown Springboro. Not only do they offer amazing apparel, but also offer fundraisers for your sport or organization and have helped raise over $100,000 for local schools, teams, and organizations. Drive Electric Dayton is a nonprofit group whose members help our neighbors and community learn about the benefits of driving electric cars, trucks, motorcycles, boats, and aircraft. Three of our volunteer leaders live right here in Springboro. Electric vehicles represent approximately 10% of all new vehicles sold in Ohio this year, and electricity costs one-third of the price of gasoline. EVs are Ohio's future, and they are a lot of fun to drive. Carrie, do you hear that? No, no, I, I, I don't hear anything. Do you know why? Because it's electric. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> A lot of really beautiful electric cars yes. sliding through here. A 
It is incredibly quiet. It is. I always get a charge out of seeing all these electric cars. Coming up next, looks like we've got Miami Valley Dance Academy celebrating 28 years in business. Miami Valley Dance Academy won Best of Dayton in 2023. Come see why MVDA is the place to dance. Oh, Jim, do you see what I see? I think I do. Oh, my goodness. It is It's Santa, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Oh, I'm so glad she made it this year. Oh, yes. and they Hi, even... Santa. Hi, Mrs. Claus. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I and... see they brought some of their elves, you know, the dependent clauses. <laughs> and this signifies the official official start of the holiday season here in Springboro. Yes, it has officially begun. Oh goodness, well what a fantastic way to officially welcome the holiday season. We want to thank our parade sponsor, Glasshouse Realty, our awesome parade chairs and festival committee, our phenomenal crew from MVCC for handling the broadcast today, and to all of you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. We look forward to seeing you next year. Of course, I want to thank my co-host, Jim Brown, the dad joke extraordinaire. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Carrie. Always, always a pleasure to share the podium with you here and announce this incredible event. We're just so, so fortunate to have this here in our community. No, it's always a pleasure, and it's an honor to be here. Yes, always an honor to be here with you. All right, well, Merry Christmas, everyone, and we will see you next year. Merry Christmas, everyone.